Hello, and welcome to President Pat's podcast of North Shore Community College. I'm Dr. Pat Gentilly, proud president of North Shore Community College in Massachusetts. Today, we're going to chat about the new Year Up of Greater Boston partnership that launched this fall on the North Shore Community College Lynn campus. My guests today are Michael Goldstein, Senior Director of Growth Initiatives at Year Up Boston, and Mako Lenord, a Year Up participant and former North Shore Community College student. So welcome to you both, Michael, and uh, also to you, Mako. Michael, for those listeners who may not be familiar with Europe, can you please describe what the program's all about? Sure, President Gentilly, and thanks very much for the chance to speak today. So North Shore Community College and Europe Greater Boston are collaborating to offer a joint program where students will enroll in both Europe and North Shore Community College beginning in January. And these students will combine education with professional skills training internship opportunities, and wraparound support. And this is for students between the ages of 18 and 24. And Europe's mission is to close the opportunity divide. And that means ensuring that young adults gain the skills, experiences, and support to empower them to reach their potential through careers and higher education. And throughout the year, the students will earn college credits and also a weekly financial stipend. Uh, They receive uh, a semester of technical and professional skills classes and then a semester-long internship at a top area of business. And the program is going to be here in the Lynn campus, and we are actively recruiting for our first class of 40 students, which means we have 40 spaces available for January 20. Uh, We also have a big event in a few weeks, and that is on Friday, October 25th, Uh, in the morning from 7.30 to 8.30, and that is our big ribbon-cutting ceremony on the first floor Student Success Center in the Lynn campus. And then we will go upstairs to cut our ribbon, and we're it. That's official. Well, that's really exciting, and I'm going to be pleased to be there when we cut this ribbon. It's been over a year that we've been working together to get this North Shore Community College Europe collaboration off the ground. Um, But, you know, Europe is not new. And so, Michael, can you tell us just a little bit about its background so that we know that Europe is a successful national program that's coming to the city of Lynn? Sure. It's uh, it's neat because while we are national and now— there are 4,700 students participating in Europe in over 27 cities. I think it's 28 now. It started in Boston. And it started in Boston with 22 students back in 2001. And as it's grown, its heart is still here uh, in Massachusetts. We're really proud of that. Uh, this is our big expansion from Boston to somewhere outside of Boston. And so for us, this is very exciting. And the program itself has... Uh, been evaluated by the federal government to say, all right, does it work? If it does, how well? And so what we've been able to see is that students, uh, through a randomized control study, uh, we found have a 53% wage gain over students who were in the control group but who did not do year up, which, according to the federal government, is the most significant uh, workforce development advancement that they've seen in recent history. So we're really proud of that. It's really the students Uh, What we do is we provide the runway, and the students have a chance to take off. And now we have an additional runway that's going to be here at North Shore Community College. Well, you know, our faculty and our academic folks are really excited about the academic work that will be happening in that first semester and the ability for the students to gain those college credits uh, while they're coming to start their college career or for some who've already been here to expand their college career. Um, Tell us a little bit about the wraparound career services that your folks will be providing, Michael. A student, and we have a student here who you'll hear from in just a second. So a student comes to Europe and receives more than just a a great classroom experience with excellent teachers. Uh, They also have a coach. Uh, I'm a coach to a number of students. They have a mentor who's a professional, successful person in the business community. They also have a a team of student support people to support from everything from housing insecurity to uh, transportation, any of the challenges that might prevent students from being in the program. We also provide a, a stipend, which means we pay students to go to school for their year when they're at Europe, up to about $900 a month. 
Uh, the important part also is, is that we team up closely with the college because the college has excellent services as well, tutoring services and support services, and we jointly work together to make sure that as many students as possible cross the stage. We typically see a 75% graduation rate uh, from Europe, and of those, between 85% and 90% reach a success outcome, which means that they are uh, continuing their education or are working in a field that they studied in, and in our case, it's going to be IT, uh, earning about $20, $21 an hour. Wow, that's really cool, and uh, I think very helpful to the students who are already here at North Shore Community College and may want to come to college but not sure how to do that yet. So, Mako, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself first? Well, thank you for having me. Um, I'm originally from Haiti. Um, I came here when I was one years old. I've been living in Lynn all my life. Uh, when I graduated high school in 2013, I initially wanted to. I would initially went to Westfield State University, and I ran into some financial issues, which kind of impeded me on actually finishing uh, my four years at at Westfield State. I transferred over um, to North Shore Community College, and I actually love uh, being part of the North Shore community because you know the professors here they they were more, not necessarily intimate, but they were really close with you. You know, you really felt that one-on-one -on -one connection with, um, ha with your professor. Um, uh, unfortunately, uh, the same situation happened where I kind of ran into some family issues and financial issues, and I had to discontinue it. But um, I stumbled upon Europe through a friend. Um, I heard about it when I was initially 21, and, um, you know, I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, this doesn't really sound like it's necessarily for me. And then, you know, um, he kept on nudging at me, and then when I when I was uh, going through the issues that I just went through, uh, he was like, you should probably really look into Europe. So when I actually did my research, did the online uh, orientation, I was like, you know, maybe this is something that I might actually want to check out for myself. And um, honestly, I think it's like one of the greatest things that I've ever did for my life. That's great. That's great to hear. And, you know, uh, like many of our students, some people stop in and out because of financial reasons or life interferes in one way or another. So I'm glad that you've been persistent about uh, making sure that you get the kind of education and training that you need. So tell me exactly what happened while you were a Europe participant. So uh, the first week, I would call it like a culture shock um, because uh, it's more of different things that you would never expect, you know, being from a college, like a college perspective. It's more about seeing if you can get your work on time. Can you actually come on to work on time? Can you actually dress in a professional setting? You know, can you actually code mesh or code switch? Um, but the instructors also do this great job of making sure that they they have that same type of uh, support that you would you would receive if I was a North Shore student where, you know, if I need help, my professors, I mean, my instructors are not, you know, 10 miles away or they're busy doing, you know, a whole lot of things where they can't actually help me. So, you know, that was actually really good. Um, and I, I just I, I just like it. I, I like it a lot because of just it's it's school, but it's not school. You know, we have these things called interactives. They're not games because, you know, uh, we're not we're not children. You know, their interactives, interactives can possibly fun, could be fun, but they're more focused on, you know, building uh, team building skills or, you know, building your professional development skills in a way that, you know, you would never have thought of before. Well, it sounds like you're getting ready to be out there in the professional field and understanding what it's like in the world of work. Mm -hmm. So to me, that's a real plus yeah. because a lot of times students especially if they start right out of high school and college, they really don't know perhaps what the world of work is like and what the expectations are. So what are you going to be doing once you're completed your Europe uh, program? So right now I'm uh, studying the IT track. Um, my plans are for me to finish Europe. Um, hopefully um, when I go out to the internship, I can earn myself a position. And uh, I would like to solidify myself as a... Uh, uh, information technologist, and then uh, after that, I would like to pursue, go back to school with uh, the earnings that I get from my job. Well, that's great. Well, you know, we'd always welcome you back here at <laughs> North Shore Community College, um, and you'd be like many of our students who come back after they get some work experience as well. A lot of flexible classroom time so that you can work around your schedule. So thank you for being here. So Michael, if people are listening to this and they hear all this great stuff and they know someone or they are someone who might be interested in coming to Europe, how do they get in touch? There's a couple ways. 
Uh, if you want to see us in person, we're in the building. We're here in Lynn in room 222 uh, on the west side of campus. Or you can uh, send either me an email or our contact at the school, Jill Thornton. My email address is mgoldstein at yearup.org, M-G-O-L-D-S-T-E-I-N at yearup.org. Or you can reach out to Jill Thornton, the Dean of Strategic Partnerships for North Shore, and she is at J-T-H-O-R-N-T-O at northshore.edu. Well, thank you so much, Michael, and it was a pleasure meeting you too, uh, Mako. Thank you for spending some time to come in here and to tell us all about your experience. We're really excited about this partnership, looking forward to the ribbon cutting, and of course, most importantly, looking forward to this partnership lasting for many years and helping many, many students. So this is Dr. Pat Gentili, president of North Shore Community College. I hope you learned something new today. If you're enjoying this podcast, I invite you to subscribe on iTunes or Google Play and be sure to leave a review or a suggestion of what you'd like to know more about for future episodes. Until next time, ciao.